Every morning, Ashok More and his son Sandesh inspect their field together to check on the harvest. They are a family of traditional farmers from Maharashtra who rely on growing and selling food grains. Eight years ago, Ashok decided to try his hand at dairy farming. He bought two cows and started out by supplying five litres of milk every day. But that wasn't enough to sustain their livelihood. Gradually, he bought more cattle to produce more milk. With that though, the cost of fodder also went up. The father-son duo eventually decided to grow their own green and dry fodder to cut down on expenses. But despite that, they realized how it was still expensive to run a dairy farm. Like most dairy farmers in rural India, Ashok's primary goal is to increase the quantity of milk produced by his cows. He spends nearly 40% of their earnings on the fodder intake of the animal with the hope that it will produce more milk. But they are not aware of how much fodder should be given to achieve the desired results. India is the largest producer of milk in the world. There are nearly 300 million cattle in the country producing about 200 million metric tons of milk. But not all of this milk is of good quality. Experts believe this is because there is little attention paid to the nutrition of these animals. Dr. Dinesh Bhosle is a livestock expert who has worked in the Indian dairy industry for over two decades. According to him, many dairy farmers like Ashok are still using traditional methods and not weighing the fodder according to the nutritional requirements of their cattle. Our farmer is feeding what is available with him, but he should feed what animal requires. The weight of the cow is 500 gram, 500 kg. So, cow needs around 10 to 15 kg green fodder, cow needs 4 to 5 kg dry fodder, and depending on milk, she is given either cattle feed or concentrate. Unfortunately, what, what's happening, whether it's a cooperative or whether it's a private dairies to whom farmer is selling milk, they are supplying cattle feed, but the quality of the cattle feed is not at par. Means they are trying to supply the cheaper cattle feed to farmer, which is not helpful to the animal. The shortage of cattle fodder is also a result of declining natural grazing pastures across the country. Earlier, a farmer was known to use one-fourth of his land for fodder development. But according to a recent government report, today only 4% of agricultural land is being used for fodder production. So there is a shortage of green fodder in India. Animals get 4 to 5 kg dry fodder throughout the year. But the nutritional quality of dry fodder will not sustain the milk production. If you see the cattle feed penetration, it is only 13%. Means for producing 200 million metric ton of milk, you need 100 million metric ton of concentrates. But only 13 to 14 million metric ton of cattle feed is made by industry and sold to farmer. So what farmer is doing? He is buying raw materials directly from the market and he is feeding his animals. So that unscientific feeding doesn't help farmer to exploit the genetic potential of animal. 
in the absence of accurate information and ready help around them, young dairy farmers like Sandesh have now turned to the internet to learn more about animal nutrition. This is where a mobile app called eFeed has been attracting the attention of farmers across India. They offer curated information on the diet and nutrition of different breeds of indigenous cattle and solutions on how to optimize their milk productivity. eFeed claims to be the first of its kind mobile app on animal nutrition and is available in multiple regional languages for the benefit of farmers across rural India. Through geotagging on mobile technology, the app is able to localize its recommendations and offer customized diets based on the agroclimatic region. Most of the farmers we saw, they were searching online on how to make their own feed. The problem is they don't know how much to feed and they often don't know what else can they mix to make it more nutritious. So there's the information layer which was actually missing over there. Now, when we give the application to the farmers, now application has basically one a nutrition calculator. It is basically you tell me what you have and I will tell you what deficiency of nutrition basically is in the diet. Post that, there's a ration balancing, which is basically whatever raw materials you have available in your area, we'll simply use those raw materials and give you a proper ration, which you can mix in that same composition to make a proper nutrition diet. We saw that just by this offering itself, farmers had better results because now they were giving adequate amounts of fat and protein and all those things. A free-to-use mobile app, eFeed claims to have connected with over 300,000 dairy farmers across India, positively impacting the health of close to 1 million cattle. This is the app, is the app, is the doctor. ते पण सगळ्यांची माहिती त्या ऍप मध्ये आहे डॉक्टर स्वतः फोन वर पण आपल्या बरोबर चर्चा करतात की काय आजार आहे काय नाही ते असं ऍप चांगलं आहे ते अपार्ट फ्रॉम कंसल्टेशन ऑन एनिमल न्यूट्रिशन ई फीड आल्सो मेक्स इट्स ओन कॅटल फीड प्रीमिक्सेस व्हिच आल्सो ब्रिंग्स इन रेवेन्यू सो इफ यू लुक एट द लॉट ऑफ रिपोर्ट्स इन द मार्केट टुडे यू विल सी दैट लॉट ऑफ टॉक्सिन्स आर अवेलेबल इन द मिल्क टुडे व्हिच आर बेसिकली कमिंग फ्रॉम द फीडिंग वी स्टार्टेड वर्किंग ऑन फिगरिंग आउट द राइट व्हिटामिन्स द राइट एंजाइम्स the microbiomes and stuff which can be given to the animal which are good quality and can really impact them. So we saw that these toxin binders and these good microbiomes, it's like probiotic basically, right? So they were able to impact the gut of the animal. Now the gut became better, so the milking became better. For farmers who aren't able to access technology, however, the problem of poor fodder continues. Two-thirds of India is dependent on the agricultural sector. But it can't be said that technology has penetrated the remotest of villages. Desperate measures like adulterating milk with urea and other harmful chemicals to increase quantity and fat content is a reality that leads to toxicity in milk. At the same time, experts believe the presence of toxins such as aflatoxin is also a result of contaminated cattle feed. Aflatoxin levels are uh, more uh, based on the, because aflatoxin comes from the feed. If you feed more of green fodder, aflatoxin will be less. But if you feed more of ingredients and the uh, old because of aflatoxin will develop with some the moisture in that time. So I fully agree. There have been certain reports that in, in aflatoxin level has increased, but then there needs to be controlled only and only at the feed level. Rupali Kakade has first-hand experience in the harmful effects of adulterated milk. For months, her daughter suffered from a severe stomach infection. Several medical tests later, her pediatrician confirmed that the infection was caused by adulterated milk. When doctor asked us to stop her milk, so within a month her health improved. And uh, during that time I researched uh, more on the uh, quality of milk available in the market. So I came to know that 79% of the milk which is available in the market is adulterated. So this was very shocking for me and that's the reason I could not trust any brand uh, and give that milk to my daughter after she cured from the uh, disease. 
Deepali started producing milk on her own farm close to Pune city. She started out with 13 cows and grew the fodder on the farm itself. She also discovered from her own research that the nutritional value of the milk changed after giving better quality green fodder to the cows. She also took to hydroponic farming to grow fodder, through which maize seeds are soaked overnight and then transferred into trays for sprouting. So it takes around seven days uh, to grow completely and uh, uh, it is prepared as a fodder. So normally we gave uh, two trays to each cow. So when we started uh, giving uh, uh, this hydroponic fodder to our cows, uh, we have seen uh, drastically the results like uh, the quantity of milk is increased and quality of milk is difference. We saw the total 23% of the uh, yield increased and 10 to 11 percent of the values, nutritional values are changed. Rupali's successful experiment in dairy farming has evolved into a small-scale dairy business by the name of Truly Desi. Her company now ships milk directly from her farm to consumers across Pune and Mumbai city. She's also working with other dairy farmers around Pune city and sharing her experience on how to grow hydroponics fodder at a low cost. Initiatives like eFeed and Truly Desi are an effective support system for dairy farmers to improve their milk production and to learn more about fodder management. But despite these efforts, the dairy industry is still experiencing an unprecedented shortage of supply. In 2022, milk imports went up by nearly 40%. Experts believe that this unusual decline in the supply of milk is also a consequence of ad hoc fodder policies. If we want India to continue to produce at the same growth rate and farmers to continue to get good feed fodder ingredients, so we have to come out with policy of more fodder production and unfortunately, in India, there are no big policy at the state or central level to increase the fodder production, long-term policy. The way we are spending on that, I think fodder, national fodder level policy needs to be made. There are nearly 80 million dairy farmers in India, and their livelihood depends on the nutrition of their cattle. For a country where milk is considered a staple diet for almost every household, it's critical to enhance and streamline fodder production across our heartlands. Thanks for watching Eco India. If you like the story, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to scroll.in on YouTube.